store. After spending hundreds of thousands of your tax dollars to rid a mobile fire station of mold, well, tonight the mold is back and that station is closed indefinitely. We're talking about the Gus Rem station on Moffett Road. That's where Local 15's Andrea Ramey is tonight. Andrea, the station opened then quickly closed its doors again this month. Yeah, that's right, Greg. This station was closed most of the summer to address these mold concerns. It finally reopened earlier this month, but it wasn't even open 10 days before the city made the call to once again close it down due to mold concerns. Over the course of 10 years, roughly a quarter of a million of your tax dollars have been sunk into this fire station to address the same issue, mold. I, that's probably a good ballpark figure. Despite all the work to the roof, the bathrooms, the air system, windows and sheetrock, mold is still present. These pictures taken last month show it on the walls. But with the all clear given on the air quality test performed recently, the city reopened the station on November 5th. And on day one, firefighters say there were problems. A few of them that was experiencing some burning eyes, some itchy eyes, kind of a sore throat. But uh, you, could, you could actually smell it on their clothing. The same issues firefighters working at this station have complained about for years. The building's been sick for years. They tried to pack it up numerous times and it hadn't worked. Today, Public Safety Director Rich Landolt made it clear, enough is enough. I mean, is it kind of crazy to you how much money has been spent? It is, and that's why I've said we're not going to spend another dime on it. I would like to uh, knock it down. A move the Firefighters Union says it's been arguing for all along. I'm glad that the Public Safety Director took that stance on it. So no timetable just yet on when or if this building will be torn down. Also tonight, Landolt says there's no timetable when a permanent fire chief will be named. That position has been vacant for more than a year now. He does say that interim fire chief Billy Pappas has been doing a great job and is in the mix for consideration for this position. He also says that idea he was floating a couple months ago to have two co-chiefs is not, quote, an option right now. Reporting live tonight in Mobile, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea, thanks. Local 15 News, your advocate to expose corruption, fraud, and waste in local governments. If you don't have any wrongdoing, scams, or abuse of your tax money, call our Reality Check hotline. The number is 877-315-7268.